Hello, 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 hello. Good morning to you. It's Friday. My name is Kate Bolt. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK and I'm back for Fun Friday Live. And it is lovely to be back, guys. I am so pleased to be back. Um, I'm just going to wait to my tripod down. It seems to be a little bit top heavy today. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It might be my angle. There we go. Anyway, good morning to you. I'll just wait a moment, see if anybody hops on and joins me live this morning. I'm very excited to be back, I have to say. It has been a minute. Yes. So this time last week, I was speaking at a Stampin' Up! training day. I was very um, happy to be asked to speak. And that was amazing. And we had such a lovely day. So I wasn't f here live. Good morning, Sherry. How are you, my lovely? Thank you for joining me live. I'm just grabbing up my um, my laptop and just checking I'm live and that I can see comments properly. Let's have a looky see. It does make it a lot easier being able to see it on my laptop than just when I'm streaming on my camera. Here we go. Let me unmute that. And I can see your comments. Ah, oh, I missed you last week too. Yeah, so I was talking at a Stamping Up training day, which was brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And it was so inspirational to get together with this lovely group of Stampin' Up demonstrators who are all working towards their next title in Stampin' Up. So I was very honoured to be asked to speak at that. And we all learned loads from each other and it was such a fun day. It was hosted by our business development manager, who's as ever is so lovely. Um, yeah, so, and I wasn't here on Tuesday. I have to say this is the first time I've been in my craft room for a week. So last Thursday, I did a class. I did my monthly class, which was great fun. We used the Let's Sail Away punch bundle. Uh, we had a lot of fun. And then on Friday, I was out all day speaking at this lovely Stamping Up event. And then Saturday and Sunday, both day, all days, I um, held a team event for my team and we crafted all weekend. And I made loads of projects and we had fun. But on the Saturday, I started to lose my voice. And by the Saturday evening, it was completely gone. And I have to say, I think it came back, started to come back on Wednesday this week. So I've had laryngitis, I've had a terrible cold, but I think I'm getting there now, guys. So I decided to give it a go this morning, so I can only apologise for how my voice sounds right now. But I am getting there, and I can only thank my lucky stars, because my poor son, my teenage son, has had it ten times worse than me. So let's hope we're on, we're on the mend ready for Easter. I can't wait. And talking of Easter... I have the Easter bunny and I wanted to get him out and I've been sort of, I honestly haven't moved off the sofa for the entire week and it's been so nice to think, get up this morning and think about spring and Easter and <sighs> light. <laughs> yeah, so I thought we'd have a little play with the Easter bunny. And so many exciting things have been happening over the last couple of days with Stampin' Up! because as demonstrators we had our new catalogue reveal for the new annual catalogue, so all the stuff that we can... Um, demonstrate and play with and purchase and sell over the next year is in there all the new goodies but we've had a big color refresh to go along with it so we have a whole load of new colors coming in we have old colors going out and then we have a retiring list so there's loads of information to take in I have sent out um, an email to all my customers who are on my email list giving them all the information the retiring list the colors that are going the colors that are coming if you want to be on that list, you want me to pop you on my email list, just let me know and I'll just send you all the info. No worries. Right. I all, I'm i already feeling a bit like my voice is starting to go again. So fingers crossed, guys. Right. I thought we'd just play with a very... I've got a stepped up card and then I've got a very simple card. I've kind of just got a really simple card in my head. So I will start with the easy one, I think. But I'm going to case my lovely friend, Sam, who's in my team. She gave me this card at our team event last week. 
How beautiful is that? And I'm going to have a go. It's not that simple because she's fussy cut. I'm not going to do as complicated as hers is. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to make it very simple. But isn't it beautiful? I love it. Um, she's stamped just for you on the back. And she's put the Pretty Designer Series paper on the envelope. And then to go with it. We had a pillow box each of goodies. It's been a long time since I made a pillow box, but such an easy and fun project full of chocolate. That's mine. I'm not telling anybody else, right? That's my chocolate. And she's put the Easter bunny on there. So yeah, she inspired me to make this card. Now I haven't made it. It's in my head. It's the simplest card ever. We're just going to try, okay? I'm not sure if I've got all the um, things out that I need. So I went for... One of my favourite colours I'm playing with at the moment is Granny Apple Green. I went for a tent fold card base, regular, medium size. Then I pulled out the yellow. I pulled out So Saffron. It's a beautifully spring but muted yellow. It's really gorgeous, like a pastel. It's one of our retiring colours. So if you like this colour, go in the shop, grab the cardstock, grab the ink pad and an ink refill because... They just sell out straight away. Once the retiring colours are published, those things sell out. And so then I've got a layer of basic white to stamp on. And then, because it's a green card, it's not a white card, I've made an insert to stamp on in the middle. And that's the kind of basics of our card. And I'm just going to do some stamping. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I'll bring some white card in. Now I do have the bunny punch. So this gorgeous stamp set has three rabbits on it. And there's a punch that goes with just the one bunny. As you can see, he's here and he's rather fab. Now he's out of stock at the moment, but he will be coming back in at some point. But honestly, he's such an easy shape to cut out with the scissors. I would just grab the stamp set while you can. And um, because you're gonna cut these two out if you're gonna cut them anyway, aren't you? So you might as well. But if you really want the punch, just hang on for that. So, I'm already exhausted. Let's have a look. This bunny matches the punch. Am I going to use that bunny? Uh, no. I'm going to make it different. So, I'm not going to use the punch. Just to be different, I'm bringing in my rabbit. My other rabbit, the sitting up one. Have you got the stamp set, Sherry? Have you made any Easter cards? Do you make Easter cards? Lots of people don't. Some people do. I've decided this year I want to make some Easter cards. I need to get them sent because it's soon. I think it's a week Sunday, isn't it? So I'm just going to stamp him in black. Memento black. Nice, there he is. Now, I don't know what he would look like with the flowers stamped across his head. Um, or I might have to cut them out and put them on his head because I think I don't know I might try and just do it straight on and if not well just cut them out and put them on stamp him again so say hello if you're watching tell me where you're from I'm very excited for Easter um, the kids should be breaking up today for the Easter holidays however my poor son is still very poorly he hasn't been into school for a week and a half so <clears throat> he's he's kind of broken up, but he's not well enough, bless him. So I'm not sure about this. I might just colour it in and see what it looks like. Um, but I've got a lot of the rabbits showing through there. So I might just cut it out and be quick with it. Hi, Amanda. I am feeling a bit better, thank you. I'm all right as long as I'm dosed up with all the painkillers. Sherry says she's going to miss So Saffron. It was one of the first ink pads she bought 16 years ago. I know, So Saffron's a great colour. I mean, we do have some gorgeous colours coming in though, so I'm going to miss it with a couple of others, but I do think that I'll soon forget. Um, you don't make Easter cards, it's not a set you have. Fair enough, absolutely fair enough. Oh, I nearly dropped it. I should tell you, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. It does have a nice sentiment in there to, to um, does it? 
I was about to say to make it a new baby card, but it doesn't. It says, enjoy all the little moments. You're a friend like no other. It's a new day, an Easter treat for you, and happy Easter and hi. But it would very easily make a nice new baby card. So let's restamp him and then restamp the flowers. And I'm really sorry, you're going to have to put up with me cutting out the images. Right, like so. There we go. Right, I'm going to cut them out before I colour them in. Is this a good plan? Oh, I'm already covered in ink. <laughs> Doesn't take long. This might be a long one today, guys. So, you know. <laughs> Just so you know. Because I'm not very fast. Two bunnies. One bunny I want. So I'm just going to cut him out. Be such an easy shape. Not hard. You can just stamp him straight onto your card if you want. That's what I should have done. Stamped him straight onto the card. We don't really need to cut him out, do we? And then it would be an even easier card. I might actually do that and save this one for my second card because I do need this rabbit cut out for my second card. Yes, I think that's the plan. So let's cut him out as I've started. What colours have we got coming in? We've got some really pretty ones. We've got, um, let me see if I can remember what they're called off the top of my head. One called Lemon Lolly. That's a nice colour. Uh, Fresh Freesia is coming back. Pretty Peacock is coming back. Uh, lemon Lime Twist, which was one of my favourites, is coming back. Um, just trying to think what else is coming back. Uh, Berry Burst is coming back. Um, I cannot remember off the top of my head. I've got a nice new brown one I really like the look of. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, we have got five beautiful new ink colours in quite muted tones that will fit into our colour spectrum nicely. So there's our bunny that I'm going to use for the next card. But I am going to use this one now. What's the brown one called? Um, can't remember. Just trying to remember what was on my graphic I made. I made a graphic and it showed all the new ones coming in. So we've got Lost Lagoon coming back, we've got Pretty Peacock coming back. Uh, there's a few nice ones coming in. And, and then we have got, we've got 11 new and returning ones plus our five new in colours. And the ones that are going out, uh, I know we are losing So Saffron, Mint Macaron, Rich Razzleberry, um, just trying to think of what's, what's going. A few. And obviously the in colours that we got the year before last, because they've run their course now. Those are the ones with Evening Evergreen as Soft Succulent, a polished pink, is it? I think. <laughs> Oh, we've got a new circle die coming in the new catalogue, guys. So in the online shop, you can get the two inch and the one and three quarter inch circle punch. And now I think they're selling when the new catalogue launches. I think we'll have one and three eighths of an inch. You like the new pink and you're thrilled about the pretty peacock and the fresh freesia. Oh, yes, the new pink. Isn't that called bubble bath? Yeah, and Fresh Freeze just coming back. Everyone's very excited about that one. Which is lovely. It's such a pretty palette we've got. And I was kind of mourning over Soft Succulent, but then if you look at Lost Lagoon, it's very similar. So I think that'll be 
a great substitute. I had a friend who saved a little bit of the cardstock. She said, it's one of my team. And she brought me a piece and we were like, oh yeah, that looks like soft succulent. It's been a while since I saw Lost Lagoon. I'll have to have a search through, see if I... I um, do tend to get rid of my ink pads once they retire, so I probably don't have many left of the old ones, but you never know. I need to have a little search. There we go. I always like to make new for the new. Make room for the new. There we are. So we just got loads of bits of paper, and I've done it. I've done it. Right, let's crack on with this card. So this is going to be the front. Don't need the rabbit. He's going to go on my next card. I have got this bit. So, tent fold card, isn't it? So I think what I'm going to do is stamp some grass. Oh, no, stamp the bunny first. Stamp the bunny first. Because I'm going to stamp the grass next to him. I think that's the way to do it. I haven't made this card, as I said. It's in my head, so let's hope it works. So we're gonna have it this direction? Yes, I think so. I'm gonna put her here. I don't know if it's a he or a she rabbit, but it doesn't really matter. This Easter bunny could be either. So there she is, he is. And then we've got a little grass stamp in this set. I think I might have to make this uh, Make a card with this stamp set and um, make a new baby card and do some other things with it because it's really nice if people have bought the set to show them the versatility of the set. So we've got our rabbit sitting in the grass like so. <laughs> oh, I tell you what might work is this, hang on. A blending brush. I'm very pleased Balmy Blue is staying. It's one of my favorite blues. So I'm gonna pick up a bit of ink and just give him a bit of a blue sky. <laughs> blue at the top. Don't mind if I go over him a bit because I'm going to be colouring him in. Yes, just a little bit blue. Sorry, I'm making the camera wobble about. <laughs> there he goes. So that's that one. Now, I do want some eggs. So let's stamp those on there. Just going to stamp them here. And... Yeah, I think I have a whole line of them. And then I think I have one coming off the end like that. Just the job. And then what we'll do is we'll colour in all those eggs. Rabbit sitting in the grass. There we go. Okay, so this is the crown that we've got. And we're going to have to put an Easter greeting on the top. So I bought, pulled out all my spring colour blends. Now, I actually took these in the lounge to colour with the other night. That's why I've got them all out. You really don't need this many colours. Okay, so don't think, oh my Lord, but you don't. And then I have just pulled out light and dark um, crumb cake and my ivory pen to colour in the rabbit. So I'm going to do that first. Ivory. This is ivory. Chest check. It is. Because <laughs> I've done that before. We've got some lovely new stamps coming in the new catalogue, guys. Really excited for it. I do get quite excited when the new catalogue comes out. New things to play with. Right, okay, so just colour him in. You have some nude tones as well, like skin colours. 
and there's some light ones that you could use instead of this if you have those. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the dark crumb cake and just go around a little bit where I think he'd be a bit darker on his fur maybe. Super cute. Now, I think this light crumb cake is running out. Let's have a look. Yeah, I was using it as class. I was pretty sure it was. But I've got another set because I use this colour so very much. Oh, yeah, look at the difference in that. That's amazing. <laughs> it was definitely running out, wasn't it? So I did, um, I did stamp this rabbit the other day to go on a project and then I stamped it again on a scrap piece of paper and I cut his arms out and I stamped the carrot that's in the stamp set and I stuck it on and stuck the arms over it so it looked like he was holding the carrot. Now I could do that, show you how that works, it's very simple. Had to have a bit of rabbit surgery is all. <laughs> Poor thing, cut his arms off. So, just colouring him in. I'm not being terribly accurate, you know. You could spend a lot more time on your colouring in than I do. So here he is. Blend those edges in. And to his feet, little feet beans, little beans, paw pads in ivory. Okay, so there he is. And just to zhuzh him up a bit, I think we're going to give him or her a little crown of flowers. So. Let's have a nice pink flower in the middle. Uh, what colour have I picked? I think it's, yeah, Flirty Flamingo Dark. And I really like this. It's such a, um, a little thing, just cutting out the flowers, but I think it really pop makes it pop. It's cute. Let's do the middle of that flower pink. And then, I think this is Daffodil, but, so Saffron. Have I got that one? Let's have a look. Let's use so saffron to go with them. So these are also available in the online shop, um, but will be discontinued because that is that retiring colour. So let's go for the darker one. Oh yeah, that's such a lovely yellow. That to the yellow centres, those ones. Um. I've got a bit of, I think this is Highland Heather. Let's do that. I mean, you can colour your flowers in here you like. <laughs> What's your favourite colours? So here we go. But it's quite fun. I need to gather up all the cards I've made and pop them in the post next. So that's those colours that I've used. Let's put them to the side. And then I'm just going to bring in... No, not that one. I want Granny Apple Green to go with... It's the dark one. To go with the card base. And I'm going to do the leaves. And mm, Granny Apple. <laughs> so I think that's all of that. I've missed the little flower petal there. Huh? 
And then, let's grab them. Um, some sticky foam pads. I've got the mini dimensionals. Oh, there's my ruler. I lost that the other day. There it was. <laughs> and look how much different it looks with the little crown on. I think it looks so sweet. So I'm going to put some of these tiny mini dimensionals on here just to pop it up. And I do apologise for my voice or lack of. Right, there we are. So just make sure you get it exactly where you want it to go. Pop it on. Um, she's got her crown. How cute she looks. So I need to use the um, colours I've picked out and some other colours. I'll bring in some mint, maybe in some balmy blue and a bit of pink. And I'm going to colour in these Easter eggs quickly. So nothing too dramatic. Let's go yellow. Yellow like that, and this one the same. Do yours however you fancy. Um, I should have brought Petal Pink. I think that would have been a nice colour. I might grab that one in a minute. Um, I'm going to do a bit of... Oh, what colour is this? Pool Party. Let's pop that in. So I'm just using like what you would imagine for pastel Easter egg colours. Um, let's have a look for pastel pink. Petal pink, so pretty. Uh, I think we'll go for the dark petal pink and we'll just do it like this. Just alternate those. Right, so we've got that one. Make sure we've done all the bits that we need to do. That should do it. Uh, I think it needs something else in there. I've got a soft sea foam. Let's bring that in here. So I'm obviously taking lots of time deciding what colours to colour in my eggs, which is why it's taking a certain long time. But, you know, you can just, like, use whatever colours you like. Don't worry too much about it. Um, thought I brought out balmy blue, but don't think I have. Where are you? We need balmy blue, don't we? Um, let's go for it. And then I think we need some more, something brighter. But it looks quite cute. Oh, you know what we don't have? We need some of that lilac colour because it's in the rabbit's crown of flowers. So I think that would work for my last colour. There we go. Light Highland Heather. There we go. That will kind of pick it out. What do you think? 
I'd quite like Easter eggs that look like that, I think. When I was small, I'll never forget, my mum made us, my sister and I, she made us some Easter eggs one, one Easter. Honestly, my mum was the craftiest person you have. You know, she was so skilled at her crafts. Craftiest person you could ever meet. And she, we were back in the 19th, probably 70s or early 80s at this point. And she made, uh, thank you, Sherry. She made us Easter eggs. And I remember her having these Easter egg moulds. And it took her forever. She, she painted the milk chocolate into the Easter egg mould put it in the fridge and then kept doing it and kept doing it until she had a nice thick Easter egg. And then he had to put the two edges together and paint the chocolate on and let it set. But all on the front of them, where the, um, and the back, where the mould was, it had flowers. She piped all this icing. It was like that royal icing, but I don't know what, how she made it in all these pastel colours. I'll never forget these Easter eggs she made. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So now you can see here how this is going to work. So we've got a bunny, we've got this one, and then the next thing we just need to do really is do our sentiment. It must have been a labour of love, Sher Sherry. You're absolutely right, but I think... Um, you know what, part of it was like, you know, um, as crafty people, we enjoy the making as much as the giving. And I think she just loved it. I remember one Christmas, she made these amazing ornaments out of tin cans. I don't know if they were tin. They were like brass. And you open, she basically opened them up and then she sliced down the sides of these cans and she filled them out to the sides and then made candle holders. There's no way on earth you'd ever know it was a can to start with. They were incredible. <laughs> She's a talent. Right, I am going for so saffron, I think, if I can find a scrap of that. Where are you, so saffron? Yeah, she was definitely a talent. So I've got a bit of so saffron there. She still is. She does so much crafting now. She does a lot of quilting and things, and she's, yeah, she's just amazing. So happy Easter, I think I pulled out. That was what I wanted. Let's grab a block. Um, I think I'm gonna emboss it in white. Why not? She sometimes catches my lives. She sometimes watches my lives, but generally she's a very busy lady, you know. <laughs> And she's off crafting and doing other things. <laughs> she's always doing something, something good. Right. Okay, here's my little embossing buddy. She was she used to make cards as well. Amazing things. Right. Let's ink this up with a verse mark. Stamp happy Easter kind of at the bottom. I'm not sure how straight that is. Let's put my lid on. And I've got my box separate of white because then it doesn't get contaminated because I don't tend to clean my embossing tray very often and it gets all the gold and the black and the bits and the silver in there. So I just keep my white separate. Am I clear? Oh, I love that. Look how well it's come out. Sometimes it's a little bit hit and miss with uh, writing when you're embossing it, isn't it? Well, that's come out rather well. Happy days. All right, let's put that to the side until I need it again. But I do need to plug in my heat tool. Obviously, her love of crafting rubbed off on you. Actually, yeah, you're absolutely right. I didn't really have much of a choice. I plugged the wrong thing in. Because 
I was dragged up um, in sewing shops most of the time when I was a child. Uh, I have this distinct smell of fabric and sewing machines and tailor's chalk and all of those things. And it was just so lovely. Unfortunately, I didn't inherit her sewing skills. I can sew, but yeah, I'm not as brilliant as that. So let's have a go. There we go, we've got it. So Amanda says, I hope your weather improves for the Easter holidays. I won't tell you what it's like here. Um, Amanda's in Spain. And the weatherman said that March should have been like May and April is going to be like June. Yeah, well, go on, tell us, um, Amanda. I promise we won't be jealous. Well, we might be. <laughs> it's just cold here. It hasn't stopped raining for weeks and it's overcast. It's not even like it's sunny. It's just so miserable. <laughs> but I know that one day... One day spring will come, so it's all good. I'm just going to cut this out. <laughs> uh, happy Easter. I would love to know what the weather's doing there. And... Sherry says she's sad to see the sample artist being retired. Me too, Sherry. It is an essential in the craft room. Although, I have to say, I absolutely love my sample artist. Do I use it very often? No. Not as often as I should. And I tend to keep it for things like swaps when I'm doing loads of them. So, oh, as I spoke, the sun came out. That's amazing. Amanda says it's 27 degrees there and was 30 yesterday. She's been in a swimming pool. Okay, thanks. That's enough now. <laughs> we are we are jealous this end. Very. I'm hopping on a plane right now. Okay, I'm going to glue my layer down. It is. I don't know what it is here today, but not warm. I haven't been out because my poor son, I was going to try and to get him back to school today because it's the last day before they break up and he's only had to be over half a day, but I heard him all night coughing. So, just no point. <laughs> yeah, Amanda, can we have your weather, please? Can you just send some of your son our way? That's all we want is a little bit. We're not being greedy. Do you know, I was feeling so poorly yesterday. I said to my family... All I want to do, it doesn't even have to be somewhere really hot. I just want the sun to come out and sit on a park bench with the Mr. Whippy ice cream. <laughs> and I would be so happy. <laughs> I seriously would. That would just be enough for me. So I'm going to put my happy Easter here. And I'm debating whether I've got enough left on the end there to cut it at a jaunty angle. So, yes, happy Easter, because I kind of like that. Um, pop on some dimensional foam pads. Now, if you're feeling um, industrious, you can, if you're making a similar card, you can stamp the bunny on the inside and colour her in as well. So, I'm not going to do that right now, because we've already been at this for 38 minutes. <laughs> but I will, probably off camera, before I send this card... Stamp the rabbit inside it as well. Oh, you need some of our rain. Should we do a swap then, Amanda? I'd be happy for that. We'll swap some of ours for yours. Would that work? So I've got Happy Easter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the Happy Easter inside. Yeah, there it is. I thought I'd lost it. <laughs> and I'm going to grab the Granny Apple Green and Sherry's. Jealous, it's cold in Ontario with a rain and snow mix. Oh, bless you, I know. So I can't complain, actually. It's not snowing here, it's just raining and cold. But I think you've probably got the coldest there. Hope spring comes for you soon, Sherry. I really hope it comes soon. Happy Easter. There we go. 
And I'm actually not going to stamp the rabbit inside. I think what I'll do is I'll stamp a few um, eggs. And later on, I will come back and um, colour them in. So I'm sure you've had enough of watching me colour in Easter eggs. Right. So I do my Tombow. So that's one Easter card done. I will decorate my envelopes. I haven't got them out, but I will do that before I send them because it is so nice to get given a nice card with a pretty envelope. So I might stamp those flowers on the flap of the envelope and colour those in. Yes, so there's our Easter card, our first one. Loving it. So cute. And it was totally inspired by my lovely team member, Sam, who made, made this one. So I've kind of looked at her layout and I just try to make mine as simple as possible. She's punched her rabbit out and I've stamped mine directly down, but I did cut out the flowers. She's masked using a circle and inked over the top with her blue and I've just basically inked on the white card. And she's fussy cut her grass and she's fussy cut her eggs. And I've gone basic and just stamped and coloured mine in. But they're both beautiful. I love it. Oh, this is going on my mantelpiece. And then I've just stamped Happy Easter inside. And Sam has put her rabbit in there with a, with a butterfly on it, his nose. So thank you, Sam, in my team for the inspiration for this Easter card. And I've got another one for you. It's a little bit more complicated, but I'm trying not to keep you all day with it. So it's complicated, it's just got more bits to it. It's not, it's an easy card. Okay, so we've gone for exactly the same thing. I've got a granny apple green card base, a tent fold card. Exactly the same so saffron layer, the same basic white layer, and then a basic white layer for inside. So that's all the same as the last card. I am going to make it an easel card, hence a tent fold shape. So on the front part here, I know that measures 14.8 centimetres. So I'm going to make uh, 7.4 on my trimmer and I'm going to score it in half. Make sure you score it and not cut it. We've been there before. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. So it does this and it's going to stand up. Okay. So when the layers are all together on here, they're going to stand up like that. And this is going to be my inside layer. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to take my stamping layer next. And I am going, I've got to remember what I was going to do because I kind of planned this one. I've got my rabbit. Oh dear. I've got all my pens. I did already fussy cut the crown, so you don't have to watch me do that again. And I've already stamped a row of the grass, coloured it in with a granny apple green pen, and I've cut it out with my snip, so you don't have to sit and watch me do that because that would be a pain for you, wouldn't it? So let's try this. Now, I'm going to put this one on here like that. Right, okay, I know what I'm doing, she says. So grass, I'm going to put some more grass on using the grass stamp and the granny apple green layer. Oh, granny apple green ink pad. Right, let's do this. I'm going to bring it a fair way here, I think. Uh, yeah, a fair way across the bottom and just keep stamping until you reach the end. Pretty simple, yeah? I'm going to bring back in my balmy blue brush, my blending brush with my balmy blue ink. Give that a little bit of a go. Oh, I was a bit heavy-handed with the blue. Always remember that you can add, but you can't take away, so less is more. But that's okay, it wasn't too bad. Okay. So that's my balmy blue. 
Okay, and I've got my one of those, got one of these and one of these. So I'm going to quickly colour in my rabbit. Exactly the same as I did it last time. This is my favourite rabbit out of all of them. Even though the other one you can punch using the punch. I love this one. That's petal pink. I don't want that one. I'm looking for ivory. There we are. They look similar, so watch out for that. And if I'd used petal pink, it wouldn't have really mattered because it's a similar colour. I have done that before. The light one. So our weather forecast just gives us more rain. I don't know about you guys. I think come Monday it's going to be a little bit drier. Okay, and then dark one. Where's the dark one? Here he is. So we're losing soft suede out of our colour palette, aren't we? It's a shame, but we're getting a nice um, mid-range brown. Pecan pie. It's called pecan pie, guys. I remember the name of the brown we're getting. Pecan. Such a nice name, isn't it? So, yeah, we're getting pecan pie. I'm excited for that. <laughs> um, and then the light crumb cake. Um, and you'll be pleased to know that if you are looking to get the new colours, you can just buy the new ones as a colour set. So if you want to fill in the gaps in your Stampin' Up! colour ink pads, you can either buy them individually and gradually build up your little collection, or you can buy them as a you know, a pack, a cool colour pack. So how cool is that? Also, I think you can get the markers and we're having new style stamping right markers, not these stamping blends, but the other markers. We're having new style ones of those with a better fine end on it. So I'm quite pleased about that. So many nice things to look forward to. But don't forget those retiring things because I always get people every single time who come to me, I don't know why, and say, how come it sold out so fast? And they're always talking about the colours. You know, they're like, oh yeah, well, I'll do it in a day or two, it's fine. Uh, within a couple of days, they're all sold out the colours you know that people want because they've either got the ink pad or the cardstock and they want it to last so they want to get the reinker or if they haven't got the colour and they want it and I can't do anything about it once um once it's gone it doesn't come back I can't wave a magic wand unfortunately I think from I haven't actually looked I should have a look I think a couple of people said some of the colours have already sold out. But I need to check that. Don't uh, take my word for it, honestly. Right, okay, so we've got our rabbit. And he's going to go on the front, and then I'm just going to colour this one in, and I'm going to do a similar colour to the colours I did before because that worked for me with flowers, and I don't have to sit and think about what colour flowers I'm going to do. So that's cool, similar to that. Oh, he's so saffron. And um, where's my light Highland Heather? There it is. <laughs> You're being very patient watching me colour in flowers today. Thank you for your patience. But I feel like we need to celebrate this half term. It's Easter, end of term, I mean. Oh. Right, so let's just 
show you those. I don't know what colour they are. I think I've done them green or something. I think they're flowers, but it's fine. This little, these are leaves on this end. There we are. I have some of those tiny foam pads again. Look at the state of mine. They've been sat in my little bag. Carried about. I oh, did have fun at my team event. Two days of chatting and laughing and creating and it was great and I love it because the girls bring samples of all the things they've made or some of them do, you know, you don't have to do that. Um, and we share all this inspiration. Oh, it's just so much, it's so nice. We ate far too much cake. We went out for dinner on the Saturday. <laughs> there may have been a couple of drinks. <laughs> It was so nice. Right, okay, so we've got our bunny. I'm gonna sit him down here in the uh, grass. So I'm gonna glue him flat. Yeah, because I already stuck this one up. So there he is sitting in the grass minding her own business like so and then right what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a couple of the and I hope they come out right because I stamped a couple of butterflies on my sample one and I didn't do a very good job so after all this I hope they work a couple of butterflies so yeah Yes, and then you can colour these in. There we go, got some butterflies. Oh, I'm going to actually put my sentiment over the top of there, I think. So we'll see, we'll see if it fits. Absolutely fine. Right, let's layer this up now. I've stamped my butterflies. So butterflies are on, layer is on. Now, when you make an easel card, I don't want to stick it all the way down because it will be flat. I just want to make sure the glue goes on the bottom of the card on this half. So instead of putting it on the back of the sew saffron, I'm going to put it on the green so that I can see where the glue is ending up. And then we can put that on there. Make sure your little, you can do it flat so you can make sure your borders are right. And if you use your liquid glue, it just gives you a moment or two to move things into place. Make sure it's stuck. And so you've got your easel like this. And now we just need to do the stand up part of our easel. Now, this is the fun bit. So this is where I had fun. So I want to stick this down on here but I'm gonna pop it up on foam pads and I think it might be a little bit long. So I just did a random load. So I'm just gonna cut the edges off, hold it up. Oh, my scissors need sharpening. Uh, there we are. There we go. reaches the edge there we go it's a tiny bit and then in come those tiny little foam pads to go along the back because this grass needs to stand up I'm using it as part of my easel and I'm going to tuck some Easter eggs into it <laughs> so I'm using quite a lot of these. You don't need that many. It depends where you pop them. Right. Lots of Easter cards to go in the post now. OK, 
Okay, so if I put this here where it's going to go, I'm not going to stick it down yet, but then I can see that I want my Easter eggs to come up here. So I'm going to stick this along the bottom. Like that. Make sure it meets. There we are. So there's our grass. Now I've got some, uh, somewhere I've got some eggs. I've stamped the eggs. I stamped some butterflies thinking I was going to cut them out, but that's just a step more, isn't it? So I don't think I will. Not this time. Um, right, okay. So... Let's do a little bit of Easter egg colouring in quickly because we don't want to take forever. Right, let's just do it slightly differently this time. I like to colour in small bits with a bullet point. So let's go. Fresh freesia, whatever it is. Highland Heather this is actually. I like that we've got some nice purples now. We'll have our fresh freesia, we'll have Highland Heather and we'll have the gorgeous grape which is a proper purple. All right, so that's that. Let's put a bit of... Um, so saffron in with it. Okay. Um... Let's have the dark so saffron for these ones. Here, 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 here. So <laughs> I'm holding my breath. Do you ever hold your breath when you're crafting? I think that's that. Um, Petal pink. And I think we need some blue. Oh, well, I've got the brush tip in there. So let's go over it. And I think I'm going to go. With, 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 with this one. From the photos, it looked like fun. It was a fun time. Yes. I can't wait to do the next one. So I do them every few months. I have a, a customer uh, class every month, but then every few months I do like every quarter or something I do a team event and I like to do it over two days if I can get the venue because I've got a team who come from different parts of the country and you know it's a long way to come for just one afternoon or one day so I try and make it worthwhile them coming and it's great because it's where we all get together and connect and have a bit of a giggle right so they're cut out Okay, they're not cut out. They're coloured in. I'm going to cut them out quickly. Um, yeah, just quickly cut those out. And they're going to get stuck up there as well. So that I can use it as the stepper part of my easel card. <laughs> Why not? Bit of fun. Morning, Amy. How are you? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> the sun is desperately trying to peep out from behind some clouds now here. I think it heard me say that I hadn't seen it in forever and it's popping out.
There we go. There's those. So you can do, do this technique with any card. You don't have to be making Easter cards with this um, with this easel, um, easel card. You could do birthday cards and, you know, whatever stamp set and image you like. As long as you um, create the card base in that way, you can replace the bunny with a different image. You can replace the easel proper part with a different, like this piece with a different bit. You could just put a sentiment that's raised up that will hold your card up um, easily. It's just a bit of a different card. But essentially, it's a very similar card base. You just added one extra fold. There we go. Goodness. You all get marks for your patience today, by the way. You all get brownie points. So the idea is I am going to put, see this holds the card up here, but I am going to put some of these into the grass like this. And we are going to hold it all up um, like this. And we're going to pop it up on foam pads. Oh, I am very happy because my lovely husband just brought me a cup of coffee and uh, a drink is exactly what I need with my, my weird voice. What an absolute legend he is. He's such a star. He also made an appearance last weekend at our team weekend. He, um, I forgot my speaker for my music and he popped down with that and brought us some music and he went out shopping for our um, pastries on the Saturday and Sunday morning. He's such a part of it all. He's such a fab guy. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like it. Thank you, Sherry. I had great fun with this stamp set. I have to say, I don't tend to usually buy the typical occasion set. So I don't very often buy the Valentine set because I normally just make one with something else, something like you can use all year. I definitely buy tons of Christmas ones. But if it's a really beautiful Easter set, I will buy it. So that's why I got this one. Um, and sometimes I don't bother at all. But this year, I loved this one. <sighs> couldn't resist it so chuck it down here behind the grass and you have now got a nice easel card so the other thing that's left to do is color in let's not hope i mess let's hope i don't mess this up now i need to color in these lovely butterflies so let's go simple on those shall we a little bit of that so it didn't really matter that there's a bit of blue ink behind it because that gets covered up by the pen Uh, now, I've got a scrappy one here. What colour am I going to colour the butterfly? <laughs> Let's try petal pink. What does that look like? Doesn't matter, I'm just kind of working the colours out here. Yep, 
I think that's nice. It could either go petal pink or so saffron because they're kind of, even though that's a yellow and that's a pink, they kind of tone in very oddly. But it's just that delicate pastel again that reminds me of Easter. Oh, I love this. Who wants an Easter card? Maybe I'll pick, if you say yes, if you like this Easter card, if you're into Easter, um, maybe I'll leave it up a couple of days, maybe. What day is it today? It's uh, Friday. I'll leave it up till the end of Monday. And um, it, all the people who put yes in the comments below um, for the Easter card, yes for the Easter card, I will, if you're in the UK, that is, because otherwise it's never going to get there in time, I will... Um, draw it at a, with a random number generator and just draw it and send it you for Easter. How's that? If you fancy it. So that'll be a bit fun, won't it? Happy Easter. And we're going to go back in with Granny Apple Green. Yeah, just write yes in the comments below. I mean, wherever, if it's in Europe, I'll send it. But um, I don't think if I send it to the States or Canada, it's going to get there, I'm afraid. Maybe if I did it sooner... So, happy Easter. Aw, thank you, Sherry, for watching. Um, I'm almost done, so you've not really missed very much. Um, thank you so much for watching. Do not work too hard at work. Take it easy, won't you? Right, let's pop this in on. And then that completes it, I think. That's our Easter bunny. Easter card, easel Easter card. So let's pop that on. We're just over the hour, so not terribly. Consider I made two cards and I'm not very, I'm not very, I haven't put the Happy Easter on the front. Oh, thanks, Sherry. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I'm on the mend now. Thank you very much. I'm going to clean my stamp and do Happy Easter in white because I really like the way that looked what did I do with the stamp here it is <laughs> sometimes because I have my glasses on and I only need them for close up <laughs> sometimes I can't see for looking right embossing kit where did you go right where are you embossing buddy this embossing additions toolkit is fabulous. I would thoroughly recommend it. I couldn't be without mine. It's got the embossing buddy in it. It has a brush for getting rid of bits and bobs. It has great, really solid. These are really solid pair of tweezers. And it has this tray in it. It's really, really good. I love it. So I'm going to ink up the Happy Easter with my clear verse mark. Straighten it all up. Oh, I'm so glad to be back live today. It feels like forever. I've really missed it. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, what we miss? I missed chatting with you guys. I missed it so much. Right, white embossing powder. So if you're watching me, whether you're watching me live or on replay, ooh, I missed my tray. Do um do tell me where you're watching from and how things are with you. What's the weather like? I'm desperate to know. <laughs> right, happy Easter. Let's just heat that one. It won't take long. And I just move mine around a little bit. There we go, it's starting to change.
And you get this nice glossy white sentiment in these lovely kind of Easter colours. So let that set a minute. And then I'm going to chop some of that off. And all I'm doing is, as long as I don't cut any of the wordage, I'm going around in a rectangle like that. So it could do with a little bit off the bottom, but I'm not sure. I might just see. Yeah, I'm going to leave it, but I am going to give it another chop up there, which is my thing I like doing at the minute. I've no idea why, it just pleases me, eh? All right, happy Easter. And I might actually take a bit off the bottom of there to make it even. It doesn't feel very even to me. Oh, I cut it off almost. Did I? Did I cut it off? No, I think we're good. I think we're good, except for it's a bit long on that end now. Nice. Happy. So I can put um, sticky foam pads. So I've got my dimensionals along the back of this one. And this, it's got one lot of foam pads here and one here. So it should go through the standard post rather than large letter. Here in the UK, we have different posts for different thicknesses. And as soon as you put two dimensional layers on, you're ending up with a large letter size. There we go. Happy Easter. <laughs> I hope you like it. It's just a fun easel card made using the Easter rabbit, Easter bunny, Easter bunny stamp set. Um, yeah, here was my prototype. I never even finished it. <laughs> um, I was too poorly to care. <laughs> so when I got better, I thought I'm going to do that for Fun Friday. So here's my uh, simple version. This is a flat card. These are all stamped and coloured in. This is fussy cut and I've just put a label on there. Um, happy Easter and I'll colour those eggs in inside. Um, and this was the stepped up card and I've done pretty much exactly the same except for I've stamped my rabbit and then I've cut a rabbit out and stamped it and stuck him on the top. I've added some uh, butterflies um, and my eggs I, and my grass I've cut out to create the easel for my card. So very similar, just stepped up. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what I have made with the Easter Bunny stamp set today. Um, it is available in my online shop, so pop over there if you're interested. Um, all the products I use in my uh, YouTube videos are available over there at katebolt.stampinup.net. If you'd like to give my customer service a try, I would love to see what you make of that. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, whether you're watching live or on replay. Uh, please tell me which you prefer. I'd like to know, um, do you like the easel card or the flat card? Do you tell me which you prefer? And um, thanks for watching. You can find more inspiration over on my blog at inkstampshare.ink. Oh, thank you, Amanda. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much for watching and for putting up with all my colouring in and fussy cutting today. It's been a lot. Um, and normal service will resume next week with coffee and cards on Tuesday at 1pm British summer time. Uh, take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.